team have been great, really. I feel like I've let them down. We all deserve to get out, I think. It, it was, um... Just wasn't meant to be. We failed. It's not in my vocabulary to fail, but... <clears throat> I think we could have done. We done everything we could. Where have you been digging? Pardon? Yeah. Where have you been digging? So this was entirely up to the wheel arch. Yeah, that Winnebago is no different to what it was four hours ago. How come that's not dug out? Um, because we've had issues getting the weight off it. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, me. I walked around that corner. I just wanted to give up. One of the first times in my life I just thought, fuck this. That is the vehicle that we need now. So the sense of urgency has gone through the roof. We run not, I haven't got much water. Now I've got to fucking dig that now. We pushed all day in the heat, digging and digging and digging and yeah, it genuinely felt like we could let him down and it was such a horrible feeling. Their work ethic isn't the same as mine. So, they don't look like they're working hard enough, but what can I do? I just don't want them to fall at the last hurdle. I don't want the collective odds of the situation to get to them. So they've done so well overcoming their personal fears and their personal goals. I really want them to get us out of here. Okay, sorry. Patsy, these two are broken. Listen, I know we're hungry. I know we're thirsty. Okay, we need to go the next eight hours full at this. And you're like me. You've got this positive energy around you. And it's you and me that's going to get this team through. No one else, Patsy. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. right, gang. We're going to have a little bit of chat. You right, Bakes? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. You're all right. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Sit up. Sit up, you're fine. Go on, go, go with the others. Go with the others. Just sit down on that look. Yeah. Don't move. Yeah. You've got this. You've got this, I know you have. So much rolling. We've got this last push to get this done. Guys, relax, because you haven't acclimatised yet. After nearly two hours of toil, the beams are free. But Ant is growing concerned by the water situation. Look around here, we've got water bottles, we've got half water bottles here. We're going to need this water. We're going to need this food. Let's try and ration it a bit. Let's just wait two seconds, please. Let's just try and get a bit of discipline in here. That's all I'm asking from you. And then you guys can let loose and you can do what you do best. I just need to keep on top of this, because it just looks like a at the moment. I don't want to be a Sergeant Major type, but I couldn't let that carry on anymore. I just had to pull him in and say, look, listen, this isn't a holiday. This is serious. I've got to be rough. I've got to be firm with them. We're in a crash site. Wake up. Facing a huge engineering challenge and unhappy with the division of labour, Amanda lost her temper with the men in the team. I can't manage. You can, you can. You need for yourself, not for anyone else, you need to calm yourself down. Yeah. Concerned for her welfare, Ant takes Amanda aside to try and understand the cause of her outburst. I don't know where your anger comes from, I don't know, you know, but I know my anger came from was my bringing So it was it. mine, it's, it's... children's homes and all that lot, yeah. so that's where mine so the, the... stems from and all I had to go through. I did have an upbringing in children's homes. Clearly, it's, it has its effects, because I was one of those kids that were written off years ago. She'll never become nothing. But I thought I've had all that in control all these mm. years. Don't isolate yourself. No. Don't separate yourself from no. the team, OK? That whole teamwork thing, I need to learn to do that, because I'm yeah. so self-sufficient. Yeah. We need you to be at your, uh, your calmest. We need yeah, you to be yeah. at your best, your best. Because if you're not at your best, I guarantee you, we won't get out of it. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you pulled me away. Just All come right. over when you're ready, yeah? Yeah. 
now that I've had a chat with her, I understand where she's coming from. I can sympathise with her. I can relate to her anger issues and the way that she goes about business. You know, we're all after the same goal. We're all a team and that we need each other. Hopefully, she'll turn her leaf and calm her anger and aggression down. If she gets it right, she will be a complete asset to this team. All I can see is crevasse, 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 crevasse. And again, I'm coming up to one. That is lethal. And that is a small crevice. That'll just wedge you in, but it's gonna damage the vehicle. And we're gonna be stranded out here, exposed to the elements. Always respect whatever environment you're going into. Learn about it, do your homework. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah. Oh, no! Should it be taken this many times to kick over? I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm 100% this is fuel. Despite their battery problems, Lyndon's convinced that the fuel is not reaching the rear engine. If it wasn't the fuel, then what would be the next thing after this? I'm confident yeah. this is a fuel in related Yeah, issue. I know, but I'm saying if it isn't, do you know what the next procedure would be to do? Just there isn't one. It's fuel. OK. Let me talk to someone who doesn't think that I'm a complete moron. Right. But they say it's a fuel problem. What would be the next thing to sort out? I think what it's it fuel. I think it's ignition, like, starting Yeah, there's some off. start, yeah. Yeah. There's something not firing up in there. I spoke to Demi about a problem. She said that's probably got something to do with the spark plugs. Can we regroup, please? Let's go back to the drawing board for me. We need a spark to start the engine, correct? Yeah. Can we check that? We don't have a tool to get the spark plugs out in the hangar. I need a really deep 7.8 We've got socket. this man. We've got this man. Phil, you think we can get something made up to get those spark plugs out? We can have a look, but it's going to be hard. Phil, you're yeah. the man for this. What are you looking for, Ed? So haven't you already been to this vehicle? Oh, just like briefly, just. Right, to... yeah. Come on, mate. Let's, let's. You, it's just. Uh, it seems like I'm doing all the aqua. Go on, just look for your drive shaft. Yeah, yeah. No, I assure you, I've been constantly looking for it. By mid afternoon, Ed still hasn't found a suitable drive shaft. Ant is still struggling to cut the roof off the bus. No, I found nothing that I was really looking for. <laughs> it sounds like it's hard work. I'm trying to keep my distance as much as possible. It sounds to be getting quite uptight about it. Hi. Yes. Oh. He sounds physically how I feel mentally. <laughs> Patsy. Yeah? Get Ed over there, cos he's just mincing around. We ain't got time to be messing around like this. OK. Yeah. With no viable propulsion system for the boat, Ant is concerned about the lack of progress, so he gathers the team. Ed's not being a team player. It's one of those where I think he's so engrossed in his own personal little goals that he doesn't see the bigger picture. Should we just have a regroup? Ed, you've spent all afternoon, we've still got no shaft here. And Which any... Two seconds, two off. seconds. No, I've got a funny good. feeling, Ed, that you don't really know what you're doing. What are they doing? What you got going on there? Roll cage. No, it's got to be strong enough. It's got to be a proper roll cage. Right, OK. Cool. Yeah, well, come in for a sec, Mustafa. Come in for a sec. Aoife? Right. Yeah? Come in for a sec. I am absolutely drained. Physically, psychologically at my limits now. Because I'm aware of the dangers. I'm aware of the safety issues. I'm aware we've got to put this vehicle together, yeah. We've got to get out of it. I am petrified of the bigger picture that we're going to be here, dehydrated, dead. Because of the way they're working. Guys, when I say put a roll cage on, I don't mean a flimsy roll cage that won't last two minutes. We're not going through the motions here. I've been through that terrain. If you go over and you're driving that thing, you're fucking dead. 
It's as simple as that. I want you to do the job properly. I've asked you to put a roll cage on for your safety, because your safety is in my hands, believe it or not. Do you know how we're No, listen, Michelle, on. two seconds. I've kept my mouth shut, OK? And I've let you do your own thing. And I've tried to point it, I've tried to hit home on some stuff, and you guys, I've heard you muttering under your breaths, I've heard you taking the easy option. Yesterday, when I saw you digging that from winter, but the one that wasn't out the day before, it looks like none of you seen hard days graft in your life. It takes me, you're laughing. Do you know what? My mouth is... I'm trying my best not to drink water. Okay, well, um, if we're not out of here tomorrow morning, then we're pushing it for the next day. It seems like you don't give a fuck. 